Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So I am starting a new project. Now this is just going to be one for me in the evenings. Um, I'm going to be doing sort of like a bit of slow stitching um, to make another sort of like cover. I want it to be quite a big one. So I've got this beautiful piece of sort of fabric. I think it's, it's all sort of like um, sewn all around the edge. And it's got this lovely sort of like lacy bit um, on this side here. So I'm not sure it's something to go on a dresser or a sofa or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but it's absolutely beautiful. Um, now it's about, I think it's about just over 12 inches high and it's about 20 inches long. Um, and if I fold it in sort of half like that, um, it does or it will fit this is a a4 sheet of coffee stain paper so it will fit that so i'm just thinking i might make a sort of like slip on sort of like cover um for a journal just a, like a plain journal uh, maybe with a sort of like lined right lined writing lined paper or plain paper just so you can journal in it um and do you know you could put like a little extra piece here where you just slip in the papers don't you or the cover um, that sort of thing but I could use it for anything but first I have to sort of like slow stitch on it so so far I have added these little bits now what I thought I would do is just you know show you how I would start off I don't know how you do it because I'm this I'm all new to this slow stitching um, thingy me jig but I have all of these little bits of, they're like little squares of fabric, which I've had for a little while now. Um, I keep sort of like buying them and I've been given some as well. Um, I just buy them as I see them. So I just thought I could use probably some of these um, as, you know, the cover. Do like a little patchworky bit and then add a few sort of like, um, you know, textured pieces over the top. Um, which I thought were lovely. Now I did pick out these bits first, um, which are really nice. Just I mean, I got some spotty. I it's, I just wanted to pick out some things that maybe sort of like would match. Let me put that up there and go through this. So I've got a little piece of that. Um, I don't want it too dark. These are. I think I'm not sure whether I should wash these first because they're a bit hard. Um, actually that's quite nice isn't it I just want to pick out a few bits that might sort of go um, I don't want anything too bright these are quite nice I'm quite liking the sort of blues I won't use the whole pieces I'll just take little sections of these off um, which are nice that's nice as well isn't it these are they're not printed fabulous um so i don't think they're that good quality but they were quite cheap so um they're nice as sort of like little fill-ins oh that's quite nice isn't it that would work well so let's just go through see these are quite nice those ones are a bit what's that one mm. So let's see, I'm not quite sure. And then I'd have, I've got some of my little fabric here that I dyed. It's like that um, nice cotton that I had. I think that one's too bright, too light, I mean. Or are these too pink? Oh, there's a nice sort of rosy one there. That's quite nice, isn't it? And actually, see how faded they are. So I think they're sort of like, they're not... Um, the perfect perfect um, prints I don't think they're probably sort of like seconds but so that's quite nice because you could actually sew little bits on with that then I've got these pieces that's quite nice that's a piece of linen so I would like that these are just like little fabrics little fabric swatches so these are nice as well and these have got sort of like bumblebees on that's nice lots of cotton i have so much cotton around at the moment from sewing but that's nice that's nice as well a little bit of that 
needs a bit of colour in here, doesn't it? But these fabrics are lovely. So maybe a little bit of that one. Let's have a look in here. What have we got? All sorts of things. These are too pale. I think these are a little bit too pale. Um, don't like those on there. These, yeah, they're too pale. These are nice. Oh, they're quite nice, aren't they? These are quite nice colours. Obviously not going to use all of them, but I can use, oh, that's, that's like a sort of patchwork anyway. I could use um, just little pieces of them. That's nice. Not sure about that one. That's a bit green. That's nice. That's nice to bring a little bit of the red in, actually, isn't it? Don't like those. So what do you think? Those sort of things? It's just so that I can add a background um, and then add on top of it. Yes, I quite like these. I quite like this linen. That's lovely. But whether I think that would probably be more to go on top. I just wanted the sort of like basic for the bottom piece. So let's have a go. Let's see. That's lovely, isn't it? Actually, I might put that whole thing on there. Like this. These look nice. Let's see how this does this sort of rip. Oh yeah. Oh we want that nice ripped bit, don't we? I'm gonna take just little bits on here I think. So do you think I should pin this down? That's quite nice down there. It might change. I do like this spotty. This spotty is nice. Isn't it? That's lovely. And some of these little, little bits. So I just thought I would just pop in and just show you what I'm going to be doing in the evenings. And then obviously I will update you on my slow stitching as well. I do like that, but I think I like it. Do you think it needs to go with beside that? It's purple. These will probably be moved around anyway. Well, that's quite a nice sort of little bright bit, isn't it? That would look nice on there. And then I was thinking, maybe, have I got any seam binding? A little bit of seam binding, and then you could just sort of like ruch all this up and sort of like pop this on. And then I'm going to get a little collection of bits, I think. So I've got some things in here. So I've got my little flowers, which I would probably pop on there as well. These ones I've the ones where I've got sequins and little beads on and then I've got these beautiful ones whether these would go on there they might go on there as well wouldn't they they're beautiful okay and then little bits of this okay so I just need the basics don't I let's not get carried away let's just do the little bit So then I think I will just probably pin this down. Let's take a little, oh that's got that on that end, we don't want that end do we? Do you think this will rip? Oh just, there we go. These are lovely. I do like that because obviously we can stitch over that, can't we? And this one I like. I might actually pop that on whole. If you know what I mean. Because it looks like patchwork anyway. Doesn't it? We need a few more. I think some of these might be a bit flat. If you know what I mean. Let's see, that's nice. 
and I can add bits of lace, can't I? So maybe I should start pinning just a little bit of this before I sew bits on. Let's take this. I think I need a little bit of plain. What's that? I don't know whether this will rip. Oh, yes, it does. I should prefer the lighter or the darker. I think I prefer the lighter. I think we just need a little bit of plain colours. Let's have a little look through there. Oh, that's got a little bumblebee. And oh, I like this. Oh, I do like the stripey. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, still got lots and lots. But I think I want a little bit of textured. This is some sort of like calico, so I think that's what I normally use as the base. I normally use, but I think I quite like it. Just needs a little bit of plain, and then we can do some stitching on it. So maybe I'll move this around a little bit. That looks better, doesn't it? This way. Okay, lovely. Do you like that? I actually put that on there like that. Because that goes really well with that, doesn't it? Is that stripey? This is nice as well. I think that will rip. Perfect. Okay, so we don't want any too many long strips, do we? But I quite like that bit. So maybe we'll have that there. Am I in camera properly? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we've got all these lovely pieces there. Let's put my big bundle of them on here and I'm going to get my, got my little pins. Look at all these bits of strands everywhere. I'm going to just pin this. I have sewn some of this, the first bits. I'm just going to pin that just so it gives me an idea of, God, I didn't pin that very well, did I? Where we're going to be stitching so nice big pins just so that I can get it ready for tonight for doing a little bit of stitching here we go so I hope you guys are going to have a lovely weekend I didn't get around to doing the Friday freebie this week um, because it was just one of those weeks um, it was just busy busy shall I tuck that oh no I've already sewn that bit down so this is going to have to go above I don't think I have to fill up every little gap but what do you think let's just stick that Oh, I made a little, I don't know whether you saw my last video on the bobbins, but I made a little um, pin cushion on one of the bobbins and made a little snippet roll around it. Um, I think that's so cute. And that's got my beading needle on it. So then I know where my beading needle is. Um, I just got a little bit of um, stuffing in there, in the stuff that you put for the toys, and a little bit of lace around there. And I just think that looks so, so pretty. Um, so that's on there. This one's for my pins and things. I'm not the best at this, but I like to do different things. Um, so I'm learning. I'm learning and it's fun. It's nice and relaxing actually, isn't it? 
Should I put that there or should I put it up there? No, I actually quite like it sort of there. Let's just pin that. There we go. What do you think? That's not too bad, is it? And then again, like I said, I can put little textured bits on here as well. I do think we should have this one. So I'll put that underneath. And we'll probably end up swapping a few little bits and pieces around. Can you see what I'm doing? There we go. Maybe I'll put that under like that. Okay. Should we pop a little pin in here? Do you like that? Let's just pin this down. Just a nice little rough idea. Maybe I don't know whether I like that on there. Should we have the stripey? What do you think? Actually, that's not bad, is it? Or should we have that like that? I quite like that. Oops. I can't see where I cut that. I need these scissors. Let's go there. Oh, doesn't want to tear that way. Let's cut it instead. There we go. Lovely. Let's just pin you there. Okay. So let's, I think that's probably enough on one side, isn't it? Because I'm going to get. Um, bits and pieces everywhere otherwise let's just pop another pin in here there we go I will start off with this bit so I'm going to give this a go tonight and see how far I get um, and then I will show you what I have been doing I've got to finish off when I get five minutes I'm going to finish off my other journal cover which is this one, which I haven't done. I've done a lot of the inside um, and I did the pocket. I don't know whether I showed you the pocket on here that I made, which I'm loving. This is the outside. So that's got to be done. I just need a few more hours in the day to get a few more things finished, um, which would be nice, but I'm gonna be doing this because I enjoy this and it's nice and relaxing. Okay, I think, I'm sorry, I'm just having a think. I've got a another few bits in here. I've got another little box of bits and pieces. Look, that's pretty. Do you think I should put these on afterwards? Look at that, that's nice, isn't it? Okay, I think I should probably collect these. I could be here all day doing this. Oh, that might look a little bit of that might be all right a little bit of this okay i've got all sorts i've got all sorts of bits and pieces look at these little bits of lace i should really pop these in a pot so i know what i'm doing shouldn't i or not what i'm doing or what i have to add on okay pop that to the side God, I've got so many boxes of fabric and bits everywhere. It's crazy. Oh, look at that. I think that would go with it. It could add on, couldn't it? What else have we got in here? I don't really want to start pulling it out because once I start, I'm going to have a great big mess in here, aren't I? At these. I've got all these little bits and pieces, a little heart there. Okay, 
Oh, that's quite nice. Let's put these pieces back. I will put that back. I don't need that big one. I don't need that big one because I could be here for hours and hours. I just want to start off. So let's put these to the side because I'll definitely use that. I love that and the texture of that is beautiful. So pop those on there. I'm going to actually just stitch some of this on with my cotton. Let's just use a little bit of this pink on here just to pop these in place. I have ordered some little um, little things to help me thread my needles because I'm just awful at threading needles. This is a nice big fat one so I can see that one but my beading needle is so small that I can hardly see. Okay, where should we start? Should I just pop this in there? Just do some little random stitching through here because obviously I'm so clumsy that having needles in here, not needles, having pins in here, look at that, see? It's just going to be a nightmare for me. I will be full of little holes by the end of the evening. Let's make that sort of straighter. Please let me know if I'm doing this completely wrong. I'm sure you guys have got some lovely tips and tricks for me. Which way should we go down through here on how to do it? There we go. Put that up there. Let's just do this side first. Maybe I should have got a thinner needle. Probably have been easier to go through the fabric, wouldn't it? There we are. Okay. Let's pop this bit down. Like that. Or if you've got anybody that you, you watch, if you do 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 do, if you do do slow stitching or anything and you have any um, crafters or YouTubers that you think I should be watching, please let me know because um, I would love to watch because doing this in the evenings, I'm going to be doing this instead of sort of watching TV. I could probably watch a video, couldn't I? Watch somebody's video. Now it's getting beautiful weather. Um, a lot lighter in the evenings I can sort of like be out in the garden and sit watching a video and doing some of this that's my aim for this summer just nice relaxing in the garden in the evenings nice glass of wine I think will be an added bonus Does it matter that everything's all over the place? My threading, I don't think so, does it? It's just really to hold the fabric down, isn't it? I hope. Right, let's take you out. Let's take... Oh, no, you leave you in for a minute. Let's go this way. Like that. I run out of cotton. Let's take you out. Okay. There we go. Lovely. Okay, I'm just going to snip that off there. Okay. I'm not sure whether I showed you guys. I bought some. Um, 
embroidery thread as well. Oopsie daisy. What did I do with that? Oh, here it is. It's a little box. Look at this. This is a little box. I'm not sure whether I showed it to you or not. But it's just got these little little ones in, which are lovely. So I think I will just sort of like pick out some colours. This is beautiful colour. I think that will go really well. Um, not sure whether we go pink, but it's green. And that's too dark. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? So it just needs to have some nice little threads and I think you use three of these. Do you use three of these little threads? We'll have to have a bit of research before I start doing too much. But those two colours are really nice aren't they? Shall I? Oh that's not bad. That's just a, that's just the creamy one isn't it? So that's quite nice. It's not bad, is it? Okay, loving those. Should we put those at the front so that I remember? But that's quite nice. So that's a good starter one. That was just a cheap one that I got just to get me started, but loving it. So shall we add a little bit more? I'm a bit all over the place today, aren't I? I'm trying to get this done so I can do a little bit tonight. Um, and I thought I, you might like to see... Um, how I start. So whether you've done it before, whether you haven't done it before, or oh, where's the end gone? Because um, I am a beginner. I've only done my little shabby journal um, cover. So where should we go? Should we just start in here? I don't know whether it matters that we're not coming from the back, does it? Things are a bit wonky. Does it matter if it's wonky? Doesn't matter if it's wonky, does it? Let's take that pin out a minute. Pop that under there. Don't think it matters if you see some of this through it, does it? It all depends on your style, I suppose, how you would like to do it. Oops, now I'm caught under that needle. some of these threads. Let's go, which one did I do? Let's go back up in. Okay, not looking too bad. I think it's going to be in place okay. Do you think? So instead of actually having this, I think I will, instead of having actually as a um, journal cover cover, I will make a one that you can take off and put on other um, books, I think. Because it's quite big. Um, and I just think it would look really nice. Well, we shall see. It'll probably end up being something completely different. I didn't do a long enough piece of thread on this one, did I? Let me just turn this around. There we go. Pull that in. Lovely. And through there. Okay, guys, so you get the aim of what I'm trying to achieve, I hope. Let's just cut that off, pop that in my little, and there we go, I think that will do. I've got a little pin, I'll do that in a minute, I will sew that one up, but that's the idea. So, wish me luck for tonight, and I will see what I can come up with, or how far I get, whether I get to actually do it, I don't know. But, this is my project, my evening project. 
So thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, please stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. All right, guys, bye-bye.